So for the pants, I just took a pair of black flare leg pants and I cut them off about mid calf. And then you just want to take some red ribbon and run it from the bottom of the pants where you cut them off right up to the waist. You want to run them all up along the outside seam. And just hot glue that in place. And so then for the shirt under the tunic, I just got a white turtleneck. Um, they had ribbed turtlenecks, but I couldn't find a ribbed one, so I just used a plain one. And so then for the Starfleet badge, you just want to draw out the Starfleet insignia on a piece of thin black craft foam and cut it out. And then draw the command symbol onto it and cut that out. And then you'll just use that to kind of guide you in sizing out the circle. Just draw a circle around that. Onto the same thin black craft foam. And then of course you'll just cut that out of the foam as well. And then you'll cut out a second inner circle so that you're left with just a black ring. And then you'll just hot glue the insignia onto the ring. So then on a piece of cardboard you just want to draw out a rectangle with rounded edges. And just cut that out of the cardboard. You just kind of want to measure off of your circle where to cut it. I ended up cutting my, my rectangle way too small. You'll see at the end that my rectangle is way too small. Um, so you just want to make sure that your rectangle is bigger than your circle. Your circle insignia. So just cut that out. And then you'll take some puffy paint and you'll draw a line across the center and a couple of half circles on either end and a line to meet those just kind of matching the design on the badges they had in the movies just like that and then you'll draw a thicker puffy paint line around the outside not quite at the edge but very close to it just so there's a little bit of an edge between the puffy paint and the end of the badge and you go all the way around with that and then once the puffy paint is dried you'll cover the entire thing in a coating of metallic gold paint right over the puffy paint and the cardboard, covering it all gold. Just like that. And then, of course, you'll give a couple of coats of gold paint to your circle as well. So then back to your gold badge. Once the gold is dried, you'll take some white. And you're just going to draw a white line under each end of the gold puffy paint, and then you'll flip it over and you'll do a dark blue line under each edge so you end up with three lines, white, gold, and blue on each side. Just like that. And then you'll just glue your gold circle over the top of that. This is where you can see that my gold circle is way too big because you can't even see any of the lines I just painted under it so you want to make sure that your circle is small enough that you can see the lines sticking out on either side of the circle. So you want about half the size of mine. And then on the back side, you'll just hot glue a pin back to the center of your badge, right in the center, just like that. And then you'll just pin that, take the pin back and just pin that right onto the left shoulder of your uniform. And so then once again, here is what the entire finished uniform looks like. There you can see the red stripes down the pants. And you'll have to excuse my human eyebrows. I had to leave right after this, so I didn't have time to do the Spock eyebrows.